There is an order in which spring flowers bloom. In the cold of winter, camellias, plum blossoms, magnolias, forsythias, azaleas, and cherry blossoms open their petals, respectively. In addition, since flower buds come out only when the flower stalk is sufficiently warm, the order of blooming in the same flower field is different in sunny and shaded areas. However, if it blooms early, it attracts the attention of those who have been waiting for flowers all winter, but there are many cases in which it does not bear large fruits later. Conversely, it is said that the slower it blooms, the longer its vitality. I think our lives are kind of similar to this. The time when the quote-unquote flower of life blooms is also different for each person. Even if you feel like you're a little behind, Continue to prepare without despair, and a brilliant period of bloom prepared just for you will unfold. So go at it at your own pace. So let's kick off today's show with Ghost Nines Monday to Sunday.
Hey Ashley, Prince want to ask you something. <gasps> About what? Monde, monde. Will you know in Korea? Oh, say no more. You know what we need? Korea Pia. to Radio Clock's Koreapedia, an encyclopedia on Korea that you can watch and listen to. We're in the studio with Ghost Nines, Kum Jun Young, and Prince Dorian Nim. Welcome back! Hello. Hello, hello, hello! Hi! How was your week, guys? Oh, I will, I've been really busy. Doing what? Doing, Doing what? composing. <laughs> Whoa. Composing. Whoa. Yeah. Are we going to be able to hear it soon? Oh, uh, well, I'm working on it, mm-hmm. but I'm not sure, but I'm trying my best. Well, we want to listen to it, hopefully mm-hmm. on the next album. Yeah, actually, have heard of it, right? Yeah. What did you think, Prince? I listened this morning. Uh-huh. In the and car, right? Yeah. And I think it was good. Really? Yeah. What kind of vibe is it? Well, I don't. I want. I don't want to spoil anything. Is it uh, like chill, like slow jam? No, I think it's pretty it? Chunyoung like. <laughs> like beastly. Yeah. Like, oh. Like a bear. Like oh, a like bear? a bear. What do you mean by a bear? Like a like a calm like, like, like teddy bear or like, like a grizzly. I, I bear? think it's grizzly, like, right? Bear like bear grills bear like. Rawr. Oh. Bear Grylls. <laughs> Bear Grylls. Okay, okay. Yeah. Uh, got it. So what is this for? Maybe like a potential comeback song or like a solo song? Like what? Uh, it's for our team. Ooh. Actually. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. I didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Why? <laughs> Okay. Yeah, I'm working on it as a team song, man. Wow, yeah. the best leader, man. Uh, Good thank job, you. Jun Young. Um, also, just wanted to say you guys, you know, did 고생했어 for a long time, you know. Congratulations. I mean, yeah, yeah. Yeah, good job, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah, you guys, 진짜 고생했어. 고생 많았어. And Thank you. Yeah. True. Okay. Yeah. Oh, we haven't been able to like talk about it at all, yes. but yeah. yeah. We wanted to. I wanted to so badly, but yeah, yeah. it was forbidden. Right? I don't think we can talk about it still. Are you serious? <laughs> I think so. Okay, moving uh, on. Yeah, let's let's move on. Anyways, yeah. I hear that these days a lot of people are suffering from ins- insomnia. I um, wanted to want know how you guys are. Do you guys sleep well? I do sleep well. Yeah. Oh. Me too. I fall asleep easily, but I wake up like like uh, uh, uh wake up easily. Yeah. yeah. You're a light sleeper. Yeah. Uh, same. Same. I'm who a- who wakes you up the most? Everyone. <laughs> <laughs> like, I can hear a footstep and I wake up and I wear earplugs to sleep. Oh my gosh. Yes. You're I just got, like me. I got the curtains, uh-huh. like the uh, light. The blackout like, curtains? Yeah. yeah. And I like covered it, like covered my whole area. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it still doesn't work. Wait, you share a room with someone, right? Yes, I share with him uh-huh. and another <laughs> member. Uh, but I think they're pretty good. Honestly. But it's just the other members? It's, it's like, yeah, it's just... That's how you live. Uh, oh, you guys need a. Uh, you guys need your own rooms ASAP. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully, you guys will be able to, like, maybe get two separate dorms and then mm-hmm. have one room each. Hopefully. Yeah, hopefully. Hopefully. Okay. Um. So yeah, I'm. I have been sleeping well too, but um, we just wanted to talk about sleeping styles. Sleeping Apparently, style? you can know your personality through your sleeping pose. Ooh. Yeah, that's why we took pictures of our sleeping pose a little before. Mm-hmm. Um, do you guys have like sleeping habits? Habits? Well, hmm. I don't think I have a habit about mm. it. I think so. You wouldn't know, right? Yeah. I mean, How th- could we know? I mean, does Prince have a habit that you maybe he grinds his teeth or he snores or? Do I? Uh, sometimes, sometimes he snores, but mm. sometimes, when he's tired. literally, sometimes. Oh. I think it's when I eat a lot, I snore. When you oh, eat a really? lot, oh. Does that is that not how you work? I don't know. I have no mm. idea. If you go to sleep right away after eating, maybe because you're full and you can't, mm. you need more air. I maybe. don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Is there a sleeping habit that Shin Young has? Oh, I think he he moans a lot in his sleep. <laughs> moans a lot. Yeah, he's like, mm, mm. <laughs> <laughs> that's what. Yeah, that's what, what are he you does. dreaming about, Junyo? <laughs> <laughs> uh, nothing. <laughs> I wonder. Yo, that sounds a bit weird. I don't know. 
okay. <laughs> Man, well, that, that sounds weird. Well, um, uh, Chunyong and Prince will tell us their sleeping schedule, uh, sleeping, not sleeping schedule, sleeping positions in a little bit. But first, let us know if you are any of those. these. First, there is the fetus pose. It's when you lie on your side and bend your knees and kind of hug them. Oh. And yeah, it's that one in, in the the first one yeah, yeah they spelled fetus wrong but yes that is the fetus pose fetus. i used to sleep like that when i was younger oh and i used to have like three pillows three pillows yeah i would hug one and then i would put one uh between my knees and then one for my head <laughs> that's actually me that's you that's like right exactly now what i do oh really yeah isn't it so comfortable it is yeah but like I heard that it's like your muscles are like unbalanced if you mm-hmm. do that. Yeah. So I try you, not to. You got to flip over. Like yeah. one day you got to sleep on your left side and then the next day you got to yes. sleep on your right side. But for so you do this right mm-hmm. now with the pillows as well. Okay, so apparently it says you look strong on the outside, you're very but you're very sensitive on the inside. True. And you're you've got a lot of emotions. That's I don't deep. know about that part, <laughs> but yeah, you do mm, look s- Yeah strong on the outside you look a little you know like sensitive no he looks Not very so. um, trying to think of a <laughs> <laughs> um, how do i word this hmm. correctly you you know you're kind of like degaff on the outside mm. you know what i mean but in Maybe yeah. not. Okay, <laughs> next pose, next position is the log pose. It's when you sleep on your side, but you sleep straight on your side. Is this possible? I'm not sure. I feel like that'll be so uncomfortable. Yeah. Is there anybody that does this, the log position? It means that you are easygoing and sociable, but oh. you trust people too easily. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. And then the next one is... A emer pose? I don't know what a emer is. Um, It's when you lie on your side and you just extend your arms forward. Kind of like a zombie, but you're (laughs) sleeping on your side. Yeah, that Mm. looks uncomfortable as well. If you sleep like this, it means you might be open-minded, but you're suspicious and cynical. Uh But you're very determined. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know anyone that sleeps like that. Okay, next one is soldier pose. It's when you lie on your back and you just look straight up and you sleep, which is the most normal position, right? Yes. Yeah, normal. Are you yeah. like this, Junyoung? Yeah, yeah, I do the same. You are the soldier position. So am I, uh, but I put a pillow under my knees so oh, it's yeah. better for my back. True. But then like, I can't face forward. You like, know what are I mean? You out like this? I have to like either tilt my head to the right uh-huh. or to the left. Uh. I don't know why. If I just sleep too straight like this, I feel like I'm going to get sleep paralysis. Yes. Uh. And that is the position where you get um oh, the yeah, most yeah. when yes. you just sleep on your back like mm. this. But I feel like if I tilt my head a little, it kind of helps. I actually got one last night. Oh, last really? night? Last? I was, yeah, I was sleeping the exact same You're position. S- see? Yeah, but I watch a lot of uh, scary movies nowadays. Mm-hmm. Oh, really? But yeah. But I got one last night. Oh. Did you see or hear something when you were getting the sleep paralysis? No, I just like, I came to peace with it. I was like, all right, mm. take my soul. <laughs> what? And I just slept in. That's what I do. <laughs> well, did, do you remember your dream? Yeah, I think I watched The Nun the other day. Oh my gosh. Yeah. And it, it came in my dream, but I wasn't that scared. I knew it was a dream, so I was like, ah. How did you know it was a dream? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Wow. (laughs) So if you, um, yeah, soldier position, if you want, like uh, Leah says, soldier people have symmetrical faces. That's very true. If you want a symmetrical face and you don't want wrinkles on one side of your face, Mm -hmm. you could do the soldier position, but you have to kind of take into consideration that you're more prone to get sleep paralysis Mm -hmm. and maybe hear some things and see some things that's completely made up in the brain but it will still freak you out so, is it made yeah. up those are the pros and cons yes yes it's made up don't, <laughs> don't give don't give me scary dreams tonight okay next one is the free faller free it's faller. when you sleep on your stomach with your arms wrapped around your pillow this is probably the worst position ever if you guys sleep like this please fix that yeah that's that not is good for our terrible health. yeah 
Um, so if you sleep like this, it means you're outgoing, sociable, and passionate. So all the good things, but you sleep terribly. Um, the last one is starfish position. It's when you sleep on your back with your arms open wide. Mm. Kind of like you're like free falling. No, but this is starfish. Oh, okay. Mm. So you're, you kind of look like a starfish with your arms and your legs. That's it means cute. you have a lot of friends because you're a good listener and you're very friendly. Oh. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yuno says he sleeps like a starfish. Ah, and he is very friendly and he is a good listener indeed maybe some of this is true anyways um veronica says not the nun how did you stay calm prince i would have passed out Uh, (laughs) i feel the same too i think it's like you have to come like you have to accept yeah that's true yeah I've uh, learned yeah. to accept it after like the second time I got sleep paralysis. Mm. But the first time I was I was on the verge of tears. Oh. Um, do you <laughs> Oh yeah. <laughs> what in the world is that? <laughs> That's our sleeping position, guys. Prince on his left and Junior and I just sleeping Dang. on our backs. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Anyways, um, you know, says that I don't have friends. What do you mean? No, Where are your friends? you have us. Yeah. You have us. Guys, we'll be having a Zoom session today as well. So feel free to join us and we'll do some interviews at the end of the show. All right. We talked way too much about sleeping positions. Mm-hmm. But um, yeah, what are we talking about today, Chunyang? Okay. Last time we've introduced you guys about Busan, Tongyang, and Jeonju. But today we we'll are go near Seoul. So today's topic is time travel to past, Suwon. Suwon. Ooh, Ooh. Suwon. Suwon is pretty close, right? It's yeah, about it's like quite... 40 minutes by car, 30, yeah. 40 minutes. Mm-hmm. How, how have you guys been there? Uh, no, I haven't. Never? Yeah, me too. Wait, even during promotions, you guys never went to Suwon? Yeah, I think so. (laughs) I'm not sure, but I think so, yeah. Oh, okay. Then we're not the best people to talk about Suwon today, but we do have all the facts. So mm -hmm. we'll let you guys know. Um, Let's take a song break first, though, before we dive into Suwon. This is Honu Jonga's Sang Sang Beyond My Dreams, the OST of my extraordinary attorney, U.
are talking about Suwon on Koreapedia today. So without further ado, let's introduce some landmarks of Suwon. Yep. Let's start, let's start with Suwon Hwasong. It's a, proud, a pride of Suwon. It was built based on Hyo, filial piety of King Jongju, the 22nd king of the Joseon dynasty, mm -hmm. and contained a grand political ambition to achieve strong royal governance. It was also built as a southern defenses, defense fortress for the capital city. In 1997, the value of the fortress walls, along with the four gates and other buildings of various shapes and characteristics inside the walls, were recognized uh, when it was designated as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Ooh. In particular, the flower festival in spring, following the beauty of the fortress architecture of the Joseon dynasty, is so beautiful that it can be compared to paradise. Wow, this looks like, this looks unreal. This looks like a miniature sculpture oh, yeah. or something. Yeah. Oh, very beautiful, very mm -hmm. grand. Yeah. Um, okay, so what else is here? Well, it has several entrances, including the Chang'an Moon, Paidal Moon, Hwaso Moon, and Chang'yong Moon. And those who are interested in history and architecture uh, can enjoy it, as well as people of all ages. In particular, the Yeonmude, where the Royal Guard Troops of King Chongjo trained and practiced martial arts 200 years ago, can experience traditional Korean archery. Whoa. They aim at bear-shaped targets, which only the kings of the Joseon dynasty could <gasps> use. Well, oh. I want to try that. Have you guys tried archery? Uh, yeah, yes. like two times. Oh, were you guys good? I was definitely very good. Mediocre. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I was quite good at it. Oh, so kukung means the traditional art of archery using a bow in Korean culture and Korea they are excellent at archery, right? Even yeah. during Olympics, we've gotten a lot of medals. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so if you go here, you can try it out. Can you try it out? Can you try it out? Do they let... Are there, is there like a... Uh, yeah, I think you can. I hope so. That'll yeah. be fun. I feel like that'll attract more tourists. Mm -hmm. um, and then where shall we go after? Okay, let's go to Hwasong Hengung. Hwasong Hengung is a temporary palace where the king stayed during his travels, and it is the largest in Korea with a total of 576 rooms. <gasps> king Jongjo traveled to Suwon 13 times over the over a period of 12 years after moving his father's tomb, Hyeonlyeongwon, and each time he stayed at Hwasong Hengung. Additionally, a special banquet celebrating his mother's 60th birthday was also held at Hwasong Hengung. Yes, and mm. this is the picture of Hwasong Hengung. Mm -hmm. I mean, we've talked about a lot of royal palaces, traditional palaces on Koreapedia in the past, but you can also find beautiful palaces in Suwon. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'll tell you ways that people enjoy the Suwon Hwasong. First, you could look around uh, on the Hwasong Ocha, which is basically a car that goes in and out of the area. That's so cute. Yeah, and it's uh, inspired and modeled by the car that King Sun Chung rode. And there are two courses that you can take with this ch uh, car, the tourist co course and the circular course. With the circular course, it goes around the area starting from Yeonmude and then back round around. Whoa. Till Yeonmude, and you can drop anywhere in the area. Mm. And with the tourist course, it goes from Hwasong Hengung all the way to Changanmu. Oh. oh wow! So classic. It's like um, it's like a modern car in the front, and uh -huh. then the carriage in the back is more kind of like traditional. Mm -hmm. I love it. So cute. Okay, is there other ways to enjoy Suwon Hwasong? Yep. Next one is Flying Suwon. This is a hot air balloon experience <gasps> oh my that gosh. you go high up to 70 to 150 meters so that you can enjoy a different charms of Suwon Hwasong each season. <gasps> if you want to make special memories, then try it. I definitely want to do that. I've never been in a hot air balloon. Have Me you too. guys? Yeah, I haven't. Oh my gosh, I didn't know they had that in Korea. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Whoa. That's new. Okay, what about if you want a good like night view? Uh, another place you can enjoy night view is Gwangyu Lake Park. 
It is said that there are many people who enjoy night walks because of beautiful night view, wow. colorful fountains called mysterious water, and family camping grounds, sports climbing grounds, etc. are placed. There are many courses, so you can enjoy day and night. Uh huh. Wow. Whoa. I feel like that'll be a nice walk when True. the weather is warm, and the view of all the apartments reflected in the mirror uh, in the river. Uh huh. So pretty. It's like a mirror. Yeah. Okay. Now we have to talk about the famous food of Suwon. Yes, when it comes to Suwon, uh, it reminds people of the Suwon Kalbi, which is known to be richer than the Kalbis in other regions. And it's soft and juicy, and people usually grill it over soft charcoal, mm. which, uh, makes it, which makes a unique scent come. Mm. Mm -hmm. And the savory texture, <sighs> it's really good. Yeah, oh. definitely. When people think of Suwon, I think the first food that comes to mind is Kalbi, but I wonder why. Yeah, Suwon Kalbi is famous because of Suwon Beef Market. Oh. It has been famous nationwide since the late Joseon Dynasty. And on the market days, lots of farmers and peasants visited so that this place became top three markets in the country. For like, for beef? Yeah, for, for beef. Meat. Wow. Okay, okay. So this is, you kind of have to grab it and like bite it off, right? Because yeah. it has, it's attached to the bone. Uh, oh. Okay. They're also famous for something else. Yes, uh, they're famous for their Tongdak Street, which is near Paldarmun, and people from all around the country come to enjoy the plentiful taste of roasted chicken in mm. a very, very low price. And there's an old chicken restaurant that is loved for its crispy, yet like it's not actually fried, but it's very crispy. Wait, is it fried? It's fried. Yeah, yeah it's fried. It's fried. Okay. <laughs> yeah, of so course, fried. chicken yeah. has to be fried. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah, um, and this Suwon Wangarbi Tongdak, I found out about it because of the movie. Yeah, Do you remember true. the movie? Kukanjigop, yes, you mean. Yes, right. Kukanjigop. They, yeah. they go undercover as this chicken mm -hmm. owner and... Um, they're, they just set it up so they could be close to the bad guys that you want to oh. catch. But their chicken store ends up doing so well because it's really good. And I've never tried it. Have you guys? Not really. Nope. Yeah, but I want to. Well, I hope our snack today, our prize Dude. today is Suwon Wangarbi Tongdak. I'm hoping. So after the song break, we'll do our quiz. This is Krabity's Yorugigu Hot Air Balloon. <laughs> Crabity, Oh 
listening to and watching Radio Clock on both Arirang Radio and TV. Radio Clock, time to watch radio. Alrighty, the main event of Koreapedia. It's quiz and mukbang time. Woo! <laughs> Can we get all five questions right today? Yep. Hopefully. Probably not. All right, what? Jessica Pini. Welcome back. Hello. 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 Yes, we also have five questions today, and it's all about related to Suwon. All right. Yes. Okay. Okay, so shall we start? Yes. Yep. Yes. Okay, first question true or false? Hwasong Songyok Uigwe refers to the map of Suwon Hwasong Fortress. Mm. What? It, I don't think it's true. It's, I think it's false because Kwe is more like a box box thing? yeah mm. not like a fortress yeah okay oh it, oh it refers to the map yeah it's i think i don't think it's a map oh oh but the then map. there's something else there's probably a map though because yeah, it's so big there will be yeah. a map but we just have to trust jun young with this one <laughs> i think it's false though i'm not sure but let's yeah. go with false one, let's then. go with false. Yeah, yeah, let's go One, with false. two, three. False! false. Ooh. 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 Good job, yeah. Jin Young. Yay! Nice. So the answer, yeah, it's actually, um, you got the answer right, but Uigwe is not a box. It's actually a um, official document kind of thing. Ooh. A document. So oh. the official English name is Hwasong. Uh, memory of the world, Hwasong Songyok Uigwe, and it's basically the construction reco- records of Hwasong Fortress. Oh. Ah, I see, I see, I see. Okay, all right, off to a great start. Number Ooh. two. Okay, number two. So, when constructing the Suwon Hwasong Fortress, Kojunggi, a complex lever and pulley crane system, was used. <laughs> True or false, Kojunggi was invented by the Korean scholar and scientist Jung Ya Gyung. I think it's How true. How do you even come up with these questions? Mm, I think it's true. I think true? I've, yeah, I think I've seen it. What did history. you say Kojunggi was again? It's a um, lever and pulley crane mm. system. Yeah. Uh huh. Mm. Okay, so it was invented by this Korean scholar and scientist Jung Ya Gyung. Yeah, I think yeah, I think it's true. True. You're mm-hmm. pretty confident. Okay, let's like go. Yeah. One, two, three. True. True. <gasps> wow, Junyoung, you're on a roll today. Yay. Whoa, Is he true? how did you know? Because I've studied hard. <laughs> this came out in your textbook? Yeah. You learned about this? Yeah, like when I was a middle schooler. Whoa, mm. okay. Is there any explanation? No, it's just no. self-explanatory, <laughs> right? Yes. Okay. And you guys are too reliant on Jun Young. I mm-hmm. know. What would we Prince do if he did it? If he weren't answer. here, Prince and That's I so would sad. fail. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next question, please. Hey, this is a group effort, you know? We're right. a team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. True. So, yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, number three. So, out of the museums listed below, which museum is not in Suwon? Map one, map museum. Two, Kalbi museum. Three, football museum. Four, toilet museum. Football museum. Football, as in soccer football or like the Mishik Chuku football. Soccer football. Soccer football. Um, do they have a Kalbi museum? Wait, what's a map museum though? You go. I guess they have a map of different. I, I guess it's a museum of different maps. Huh. 지도 박물관, 갈비 박물관, 변기 박물관, <laughs> 축구 박물관. 변기 박물관 sounds weird. Yeah, Why would they have a museum weird. on toilets? Yeah, but it's definitely not made up. No one would make that up. <sighs> True. Well, why? We're not sure. Hmm. Uh, well. is, is Suwon famous for 축구? There is a soccer team. Oh, oh. okay. Oh. National soccer team. Maybe it's, it's either one or four, right? I think. Yeah. One or four. I don't think it's four, though. Right? They might actually have it because yeah. it's so ridiculous. Yes. They might That's put it. Point. Right? Toilet. So okay. should we go with one map one? museum? Map. Uh, map. Okay. Let's go with uh, yeah, one. One, yeah. two, three. One. 
<sighs> Wait. Then four. 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 four? <gasps> two. It's two. Two. two? <gasps> wow, it was a trick question because yeah, Suwon's right? famous for Karbi. So, of course, we thought there would be a Karbi museum, but there isn't? No, there's no Karbi museum. So, I'll give you the explanation. There is the one and only map museum of Korea in Suwon mm -hmm. called the National Map Museum of Korea. Okay. And also, um, football museum inside Suwon World Cup Stadium. Ah. And there's also the toilet culture museum called Heuje. Oh. Because Suwon is the first city to lead the lead and cultivate world's toilet cult culture movement. Wow. Oh. So toilet was first used in Suwon? Um, no, this is actually um, a movement of making toilet a cultural place where people can rest, think, and recharge freely. Uh, I don't want to rest <laughs> at toilet. I mean, uh, I don't want to rest in the toilet where there are germs and bacteria I mean, everywhere. That was the purpose of toilets. What? But I used to. You used to rest in toilets? Yeah, or? when I was a trainee. Yeah, oh. I used to eat in the bathroom all the time yeah, too. Me too. <laughs> we would sneak. Yeah. We would sneak like bread and chocolate and be go in <laughs> one stall together and just like eat the chocolate. Yeah, true. Which was um yeah. Anyways. Yeah, Memories. 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 Yeah. Okay, one wrong so far. It's okay. Yeah, Next it's question, okay. please. Okay, so we talked about the toilet museum. The exact name of toilet museum is Heuje. True or false, the meaning behind Heuje is a place of sanctuary where one can solve one's worries. <laughs> I feel like it's true. Heuje. Yeah, it's yeah, true. Yeah. Right? The, the explanation about Heuje mm. that she talked about okay. previous. Yeah, Let's so go yeah. with true. One, two, yeah. three. True. true. Yeah. Oh. Yay. That was easy. Ooh. Easy. It was like a right. follow-up question. Yeah. Okay, three right, one wrong so far. So the name Heuje came from Heuso. Maybe you probably have heard of Heuso, which is like, it refers to the toilet in Buddhist temples. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's the meaning. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> mm. Okay, okay. Heuso. Uh, okay, last question. It. Okay, last question. Out of the people listed below, which person's hometown is not Suwon? <laughs> One, actor Song Gang. Two, football player Lee Gang In. Three, singer Jung Hyun from Twice. And four, actress Gong Seung Hyun. Mm. <laughs> There's a giveaway in the choices. If so, you Gong Seung Hyun and Jung Hyun are sisters, right? Yeah. Oh, I think she does yeah. have a sister. Yeah, they're sisters. Jung Hyun and Gong Seung Hyun. Gong Seung Hyun are sisters, so. That means they're both from Suwon. Mm -hmm. So it's either one or two. Is it one? Is Lee Gang In from Suwon? Is anybody a fan of Lee Gang In? Any of our listeners? Uh, Hello? Please help us. Huh. Oh, wait. Ah, uh, Lee Gang In, Song Gang. Uh. Cricket, cricket. Let's just guess, because we got three right anyway, so... Yeah. Should we go with one? Yeah, okay. let's go with one. One, two, three. One! one. <sighs> two! two. Oh. oh, so close. So Sad. where is he from? Lee Gang In is from Incheon. Ah. Incheon, that's my hood! <laughs> okay, nice. he was a fellow nice. Incheoner. Oh. Well, we got... Three questions, right? Yes. What is our snack? <gasps> Today's snack is Suwon Tongdak Mat Takangjong. Suwon Tongdak flavor. Suwon Tongdak Mat Takangjong. Yay! Suwon Wangarbi Mat Takangjong. Still, it's great. Okay, uh, very excited for this. Uh, we'll enjoy this while we listen to this song by Monster X Rush Hour. Back, back. Hey. Daddy, 
없던 나의 외야라티 불가능은 없어 빌리티 뒤에 가려진 두엘라티 죄다 뭐다 장식품 퀄리티 Pushing to the limit Push your body Did you bye bye yeah Rushing to the finish Get g o t you bye bye What you feeling? She don't go to job, b a b Not that in t h e n s p e e l i n t Didn't know what you p a i d Yeah, yeah. Gotta run to the top. Run to the top. Now we go. Application. Type in A R I R A N G. Arirang Radio on your App Store. Download it and listen to Arirang Radio. 88.7 in Jeju City. 88.1 in s e o g u p o City. 101.9 in the Daejeon area. Channel 144 on Sirius XM in the U.S. Arirang Radio. Tune in Arirang Radio. Do you guys see the meat? Oh, yes. that's a lot. Very fatty. Because yeah. sometimes when you get t a k t a n g j o n g you just get so much of the fried dough and yeah. not a lot of meat inside. But this is real. There's mm. real chicken in here, guys. Yeah. And it's kind of sweet, mm-hmm. right? It's like kind of similar to soy flavored. Soy flavored. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so I feel like it'll be good to eat that box with a lot of people so you don't get sick of it. Um, It's good, but I feel like after five bites, you might get a little sick of it, right? Uh, I need like m u o I need the radish right now. Oh, true. Do radish. you guys drink the radish juice? Uh, sometimes. You drink it? <laughs> sometimes. You drink it? Sometimes, yeah. Why? Because it's always. good? Oh, uh, well, sometimes, yeah, it tastes good. Do you like take yeah. a shot? No, because like I did shot? hear that some oh, people no, no. drink the mu juice. Yeah. Oh. But I was just like asking because I didn't think that you, you would. But you're like <laughs> so casually like, yeah. Um, what did you guys think about Suwon Gwanggalbi Mat t a k g a n g j o n g Oh, it's really good. Yeah, I love it. Yeah. Is that how uh, Kaibi tastes like? I'm not I'm sure. I'm not sure because we've never yeah. tried it. <laughs> but maybe. I feel like Kalbi will be much better. Mm, right? I feel like yeah. the meat will be juicier too. Yes. Yeah. Definitely, yeah. Um, 
Rick Cal says, mmm, radish juice shots. No, I swear, a lot of people do drink the shots. Ah, uh, yeah. Um, okay, so let's go to our Zoom and see who is tuning in right now. Mm-hmm. Hello, everybody. Hello. Hi, hi. hi. Hello. Bonjour. Hola. All right, so who shall we interview today? Um, Any new faces? I think she's new, right? Fam? Oh, yeah. Hi, fam. Hi. Hi. Do you want to unmute and introduce yourself to us if you're not feeling shy? Yes. Yes. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing yes, your name you. right. Yeah, fam. Yeah. Fam. 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 Hello. 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 Hi. 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 <laughs> I'm Vietnamese. So. Oh, oh hello. Yeah, uh, uh, my name is Suan. Suan? Suan? So, Suan? Yeah, when you guys, when you guys... Uh, is it the true that the Suan sounds like my name? Oh! Suan. Ah. Yeah. So, Perfect! Oh. When you, oh. We talked about oh. Suan today oh. and we have yeah, a yeah. listener whose name sounds like Suan. We were talking about you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Suan. Cool. So every time you guys... I'll say Suwon. Oh, my heart's like. Oh, uh, skip a bit. Yeah. <laughs> well, hi Suwon. Hi. Nice to meet you. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. My, uh, my worldwide name mm-hmm. is Hana. 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 Okay. Beautiful. Yeah, I'm, I'm new fans for Ghost Night. Oh, Aww. thank you. Thank you. Hi. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Yo. Have you yeah, been to I... Korea? Have you been to Korea before? No, um, I don't have chance. So oh. maybe in the future. Yes. Yeah, you should definitely. Yeah, I really wanna to meet you guys. Oh, definitely, definitely. Yes. Have you guys been to Vietnam? Vietnam? Yes, I have once. Oh, not it's, as close. Oh, really? Yeah, it's uh. next to Thailand. So. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, right. Very beautiful place. Oh. Yeah, I love yeah, Vietnam. Please, please come to Vietnam to travel. Mm-hmm. No. Which city are you in? Uh, maybe you guys don't know this. Uh-huh. It's called Haizung. 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 Oh. Yeah, it's next to Hanoi. Oh, ah. next to Hanoi. I see. Uh, uh, okay. Yeah. Well, um, is there anything you guys want to ask her? Oh, uh, so. Uh, so I, <laughs> my English is not good. So no, no, it's, no, good. it's, it's <laughs> great. No, it's not. I, I, I studied this uh, why to to you guys when I watching this. Oh, that you a, a cop, yeah. So good job. Oh, that's a great <laughs> thing to do. Yeah, it's so good to just both the ghost uh-huh. night junior uh-huh. and prince and both study English like mm. this. Oh, uh-huh. thanks to you. Studying Radio English, Com- thanks yeah. to you. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Well, you enjoyed the rest of your day, and I hope to see you again. Yeah. All right. Thank, thank you. Thank you so much for tuning Have in. Have a beautiful see day. Hassan. <laughs> <laughs> Love you. Love you. <laughs> okay, one more person. Who shall we talk to? Uh. We see a lot of screens, but no faces. Yeah. Yeah. Probably shy. Um. Someone new? Is there anyone that uh, wants to do the interview? Raise Let your us hand. know. Raise your oh. hand. I think Tigger was... F- Tigger? Yes, Tigger yeah, was fast. fast. He yeah. was the fastest. Hello, Tigger. Hello. 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 Hi. Hi. Yes. Good late night to you. Uh, <laughs> yeah, almost 2 a.m. Oh my 2 gosh, 2 a.m. <laughs> Okay, um, Tigger, I know you haven't been to Korea yet, but if you were to come to Suwon, would you rather ride the, the trolley, the train ride, or do the hot air balloon? Train, for sure. Mm-hmm. Are you really? afraid of height? Yes. Oh. Oh. It's okay. I can't yeah. even ride a Ferris wheel. What oh, if someone What if oh. someone paid you $10,000 to go on the <laughs> hot air balloon? Definitely. That would be great to pay for my funeral with. <laughs> <laughs> so honest. Uh, oh, man. Those are great. Okay. Yeah. What about um, karbi? You know, Suwon's famous for karbi and also chicken. Karbi is like ribs. And then, you know, what chicken is. Which, which <laughs> one sounds more appetizing to you? Food. 
Both? <laughs> both. Both, yeah. Oh. I would love to try them both. Yeah, okay. lots of protein. Do right? you like eating meat that's like attached to like the ribs where you, you know, take your hand and like bite it, bite it off? Or are you more of like a fork and chicken kind of person? Actually, um, you need your hands to eat chicken too, like real chicken. Because this yeah. is like right, yeah. Yeah. Chicken or ribs? Choose one. Mm. I'll, I'll go with chicken. Oh, I guess. okay, chicken. Who said I'm ribs? Not chicken no, I you said, said ribs. Chunyo is more of a ribs, ribs person. <laughs> <laughs> There's just so many ways of preparing chicken, though. I know. Whereas ribs, it's just like rub or sauce. True. Right. Mm. True. What kind of chicken do you like best? Fried, roasted, um, gr- grilled? <laughs> Hard to choose. I uh, I really like uh, roasted. So oh. Uh, oh, roasted, the healthy one. Yeah. <laughs> The healthy Low one. calories. <laughs> yeah, roasted chicken is good. Anyways, thank you so much for joining us, Aaron. Please have a soundly sleep. Yes. No sleep paralysis. <laughs> no yes. sleep paralysis. Okay. Uh oh. Thank you guys. Uh, <laughs> thank thank you. you. Thank you so we'll much. We'll see you again soon. All right. Our last song of the day is 여자친구 G Friends 시간을 달려서 rough. Oh my god, we haven't listened to this song in a while. Thank you everyone for joining us. Enjoy the rest of your day or evening. And this has been yours truly, DJ Ash and Junyoung and Prince. Bye-bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. See ya.